Hello everyone, and welcome to Brave Fencer Musashi. When we last left off, we just freed John from the stockades, and he told us that we were going to have to meet him outside in Twin Peak Mountains. Yes, we've been there before. And he did say something else about having to bring, I think it was four logs with us. Not sure what that's all about, <laughs> but I guess we'll find out on the way. Why does he need logs? Well, I guess you never know where they come in handy. Oh no, guard Lumpwood's in the way. Yeah, well, since we freed him, he's nice to us and he'll let us through, no charge. Lumpwood. <laughs> <laughs> I know, all the names are so funny in this game. But we're just gonna come through this way again. And I know we've been here before and we had to save the dog. The bone's still there. Yeah, his bone's still there, that's a bit strange. But we're coming through this time to go to a different area. If you want to get some free money, you can just go over this Ooh. way. But do watch out for these guys, because they're kind of a pain. In the they're so rear. annoying, and they come back so quickly after you defeat them. Yeah, they really do. It's funny how the enemies are spawned just about instantly. Yeah, they do. It's really annoying. I'm not sure if it's every enemy, but I know the magicians do at least. Oh, I didn't know they had a special name. The purple guys. The ones that cast magic and yeah. try to make you shrink. Yeah, they're to watch out for. I'm pretty sure the other enemies don't always respawn right away, but they might, depending on their location. So if we come past this a little bit, oh, this guy, he always disappears and comes back. I so know, annoying. I told you. There should be a guy in a bincho field. Oh man, who is it? <laughs> oh, I know who this is. Yeah, look at this guy, it's... Meatloaf. Oh, yay, we saved him. He'll do anything for love. And you gotta love that red text. I know. I think I mentioned before they try to parody other games in this. So you know how red text is kind of a theme in lots of games? Like there, Binchote Field. <laughs> yeah. Well, this one they kind of just do it at random, especially for that part there. It gave him more of like a sing-along voice. I guess so, but it's just random letters and different words. I know, so I funny. know. <laughs> And here Musashi has to climb these stupid little poles. I can get some BP doing that. That was scary. If you're running low. Ooh, what's in here? Ah, uh, yes, it's a famous memory box. Is this the first one you've encountered? Um, it might be. So it's basically like a checkpoint. It's not quite a save, but it's kind of like a save. At least you could start over from here if anything happens. Ah, uh, okay. But it's not a permanent save. Oh no. So keep that in mind. You don't want to save there and then accidentally have it erased later. Oh. <laughs> How kind. Musashi decides he should just keep it for himself. <laughs> well, if it's just lying there, who else is going to mind? That's true. Who would put their chest out in the middle of the open? Like, that's just asking for it to be taken. And this guy here just beat him up. I don't really know why he's placed there. He just kind of gets in the way. I guess that's the point. Maybe, but it's not much of a challenge. Maybe he was guarding this old book. Yes, the old book. Well, we'll see how valuable that is later on. And notice this guy walking into the wall here. Very smart. Maybe he was going to the bathroom. He knows exactly. Oh, 500 gold. Wow. Very nice. He was rich. <laughs> oh, my. Sometimes you can just throw them to the other one. It's funny. Even if they're not going really fast, they somehow just knock them over. And there's a secret over here, which we're going to wait for a few hours. Hours? Yeah, I think it's 22. We can wake up and then there's gonna be something we can do. Oh man, I'm so excited. What's it gonna be? Well, it's gonna be a little treat for us. But you maybe get, get a little angry depending on how you feel about this. It's a Aww, Minku. Aw, Minku. So you we, hit him! <laughs> we have to try to grab him. Oh, that, okay. that wasn't too bad. But you did hit him once. I know, it's almost impossible to just do it. It is, though. Seriously, if you it's play true. this game, you know. And if you haven't played it yet, give it a shot. And you'll see exactly what I mean. Poor Minku's always being abused. Don't judge until you've tried it. I'm serious about that. So is the time going to affect anything else, or just the Minku? Uh, not really. It's just the Minku's only come out after 22. They're so Which I guess specific. would be 10 o'clock. Yes. You're doing 12 hour time. And these guys here respawn, of course. Oh! We're all back. I forgot there was one with a gun. Yeah, because the last time we just threw a guy at him. Yeah. And he was practically off screen. Oh, okay. There you go. <laughs> he goes the opposite direction. Oh, uh, no. I that was hate close. That. 
That is the worst. You just have to wait for these stupid things to pop back out. Alright, let's go in the cave. It's funny, you got like stuck there for a second in the animation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, these caves aren't really too intense on the mountain. They're just like a little area to go through, really. Oh no! Now, oh no! No, no, actually that was planned. Oh, I as you see. Can see. A dagger. So, my recommendation is just fall there. That's how you get that item. At least the easiest way to get the item without having to struggle through this. But now there's lightning things. But they can be avoided. And if you come down here this way, there's another Bincho field. Ooh, who is it this time? If I recall, it's going to be someone quite friendly who may get annoyed at this later. Ah, Shepherd Beefalo. Beefalo. His sheep have all been slaughtered. No, how sad. That is really sad. Poor, poor sheep. sheep. Seriously, why'd they slaughter the sheep? It's so random. Maybe they ate them. The Thirst Quencher Empire. Sheep eaters. <laughs> Alright, and then just be careful coming back. Now, I just, I just love his face when he's climbing up. It's just <laughs> he's so ridiculous. so excited. Ugh, you have to kind of time the shots so you don't get hit. <gasps> oh. These enemies are annoying here on the bridge. I feel like these ones do respawn a lot if you defeat oh them. Oh no, he's blocking the entrance. Okay. <laughs> oh, and here we have waterfalls to contend with. That's weird. You just have to time your jump so you don't get hit. It's not too hard, but yeah, you have to keep it in mind. It's just strange that the water would fall that way. I know. It's just strange how you have waterfalls randomly inside the cave. Ooh, a log! Mm hmm. The first of four. Still, Still tons, tons to, go. to go. I thought we only needed three. <laughs> I guess maybe they weigh tons? I don't know. I don't know if they even would, really. And this is kind of annoying to jump up. We're actually climbing on top of a fossil here. As we'll see soon enough. I don't oh, know, I some see. kind of dinosaur? I don't know. There's really no explanation for that. I don't think there are any <laughs> dinosaurs in the game. At least none that I remember right now. Well, there's one right there. Apparently there were at some point, though. What's your name? He looks like he's telling us off. Lardwick. He does. He's an expert on fencing. So that may come in handy later. Did we save the other one? I think we might have already. But he just told us to. I can't remember if we have or not. Because there was one that we came to last time. When we had to save the dog. Remember? Mm -hmm. So we might have saved him already. We may have not. I would really have to go back and check. Oh. Alice. I don't like these flower things. Yeah, they kind of just get in the way, more than anything. All right, there's going to be some more platforming ahead, if it ever comes. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that was weird. Usually doesn't take that long. You must have just timed it poorly. I guess. Come on. What is going on here? Taking forever. So, oh yeah, no, just, it's the mushrooms. Just keep your distance. It's best to use your red sword, Lumina. That way you can keep your distance from them. It has a bit more reach than the blue one. Ooh, another long! Fusion's more of a short sword. And we can get both. Look at this. Look at that timing. Impeccable. Oh, look at his hair. <laughs> Carpenter Carvey. Well, I'm sure you'll be able to repay us at some point, Carpenter. Yeah, we have a lot of people owing us favors now, don't we? Mm-hmm. And yes, it looks like another person's going to be in Musashi's debt now. We're getting quite a collection of them, aren't we? Well, hopefully they always pay off their debts, like Lannisters. I hope they do. But they don't look as trustworthy. Well, no, Lannisters aren't necessarily trustworthy, but <laughs> they don't look like they can repay. There's just carpenters and shepherds and... Well, we did have the knight. I guess he's an honorable poke. I would hope so, but we're getting a lot of logs. Maybe the carpenter could do something with those. Well, I think John has something planned for those logs, actually. I think so, too. Look at his face again. He's so joyous. Yes, let's turn him around, though. <laughs> we don't have to stare at his perverted grin. I know, as his hands go up and down. <laughs> and yet another log. Oh, I didn't even... I forgot about them. Somehow. Yes, we're still collecting them. Is this the third one? Yes. The third log, almost there. He said he had tons to go in the beginning. I know. It wasn't really that bad. I Especially because they all come up at once. Yeah, but where is he holding them right now? He's Musashi. He's got a place for that. Ew. Another one of these guys. Come on. 
freaking plants. Oh my god, they're all over. <laughs> I mean, really, if you want to, you can just run past them. But you can get a bit of money from them, if you're lucky. Sometimes you just get 50, or even less. I think green ones only give you 20. Of course, this tree has to be surrounded by three enemies. Yeah, look at all this crap. This guy has a gun, we've got some mushrooms sleeping, but you just know if we go near them, they're gonna wake up. Oh, <laughs> we woke him up. I woke him up. I was hoping he hit both at once, but nah. Well, he ran away, so I guess that's okay. Exactly. It works in the end. Oh, but now he's coming closer. Uh-oh. He was just waiting for us to be busy reading. I guess you can tell. Are these more of the fossil? Like bone, like rib bones? It does look like a rib cage. Yeah, that's the word, rib cage. Rib bones? I guess. Some ribs. Oh. Looks like we're having some ribs for dinner. Oh man. Now, this is annoying. You have to be very careful with your jumps here. If you miss time it, you fall down. And I'm pretty sure the enemies respawn right away, so you have to fight oh, them again. Oh, there's John. Did you bring the four logs? Yeah, no problem. And the secret? Well, it's about the legendary armor. Legendary armor? So it's not about the five scrolls? You mean I came here for nothing? What a waste of time. See ya. Hold on. Your name's Musashi, right? Do you know about the legend of Brave Fencer Musashi? Yeah, a little bit. Well, man, it's said that there are five pieces of legendary armor that Brave Fencer Musashi left behind, and each one has unique powers. Then I can get one of them in exchange for these logs? What a nice guy! No, 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 no. One of them is hidden somewhere at the bottom of this river. That's what these logs are for. We're gonna build a raft. Great idea, pal. Uh-oh. Better not tell him I can't swim. Ah, uh, look at this amazing raft crafting animation. Look at his ass. Okay, it's done. Off you go, Musashi. Good luck on your new journey. Oh, no. All right, so now we have the infamous rafting scene. I'm scared. Yes, this is gonna be very, very fun, I can assure you. It's actually not that bad, but during this scene you get to collect money, and if you're too greedy you might end up dying, so that's the bad part. And you know of course I'm gonna have to try to get as much money as possible without dying. <laughs> and actually the funny thing is you have to do this part twice if you want to collect everything. Really? Yeah. Well the money, it's pretty much impossible to get all the money, but there's two different paths you have to go on. One of the paths gets you to the item that you want to collect, and the other path gets you another bincho field. Oh. Binchoite. So you have to do both of them. Yeah. So what do you do, like, die on purpose? No, you don't die on purpose. It's just that you have to do it once, and then you go back and do it again a second time. Oh. <gasps> I think it... No, not there. But you do get a lot of money if you go this way. But there's going to be a part where it branches later, and... If you go to the left, you can get the Bincho field. If you go to the right, it's right there. If you go to the left there, it takes you to a different area. And it ends the mini game right away, which means you can't collect the thing that John wants you to get. So I'm deciding to do this one first, just because it's part of the story. And then what we'll do is we'll go back up later and get the guy that we need to save. Sounds good to me. These guys oh, are going to no. be casting giant spikes into the water, so <laughs> that's very <laughs> try strange. to dodge them. Uh oh, we're down to one. One log. Look at him. He's surfing. It's pretty epic. Come on, you have to bring it down to one just so you can get the awesome Musashi surfing scene. <laughs> Look at that. It's a bit He's like Marty McFly. Good. He's very good at balancing. He is. I don't think I could do that. Me neither. So if you come this way, make sure you don't jump down or else you just have to do it all over again. Uh. You get a bracelet. Well, we're not too sure what that is right now, so I'll have to wait for the next episode. Meanwhile, we're just going to cut to doing this again, and I'll show you what you have to do. I mean, I already pointed out, but we'll go there just to make sure. So once again, you can just collect as much money as you can up until you get to the point where you have to go to the new area. Is all the money back, or only the ones you missed? Yeah, the money comes back every time. Hmm. I mean, you could do this minigame as many times as you want, and get as much money as you want. 
It's actually a good way if you want to collect money early on in the game. Because I'm pretty sure this is the fastest way to get money other than fighting enemies, which will take forever. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, you can make a pretty good hole. I didn't see how much we got last time, but I'm pretty sure we got quite a bit. If you guys are watching, you can probably see exactly how much we collected. Oh! Yeah, we're we're not doing as well as last time, but oh, no. I think we should make it. It's actually coming up next. I think it's right after this part here. How can you avoid that gigantic boulder? Come on. You just want to stay to the left. And that's it. It's much shorter than the last time. Yeah, it is. But it takes us over to the next side. Where's the guy? Just down the river a little bit. And if I remember, this guy's going to be a bit interesting. Uh-oh, I'm scared. Yeah, this is where we were before when we were climbing up the mountain. Oh, yeah, those We're going holes. further down. All right, here we are. So you're just going to go up this little hill, and on this rock we have another Bincho field. And inside we got a doctor. Dr. Dr. Tongue. Tongue. How appropriate. You're welcome. It's funny, they're always so lost when they first come out of it. Well, oh, wouldn't you be? I? I don't know. I'm trying to think of how they got imprisoned in the first place. I mean, I guess it would be pretty... Weird. I don't know. It, so it's Musashi, weird in general. Why did thou come with hither? So let's visit the people we rescued, since we saved quite a few and they owe us something. I mean, actually, right now, there's nothing they can really give us. We have to wait a little bit, but we might as well introduce ourselves. Uh, here's Meatloaf. Hello, Meatloaf. Yeah, just random letters completely. <laughs> didn't really have much to say at all. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> all right, I guess that's good enough. The Carpenter. It's Carver. He looks very unfazed by everything. Thanks, Tyke. Oh. How dare you call us Tyke? <laughs> well, we're small. Another knight. Hello, sir. This is Lardwick. Yeah, thanks for saving my brother. See, we did save his brother. Oh, good. I'm pretty sure we had. Shepherd. Oh, look! Oh, look, it's the Minku. Why are the Minkus with him? They're not sheep. Well, it turns out they're injured. They're the ones that you hit with your sword. <laughs> yeah. Are they really, though? Yeah, they are. There's 13 and all. Oh my god, so, like, only if you hit them with your sword they come here? Or no, just... if you hit them in- if you collect them in general. Oh, okay. It doesn't matter if you hit them or not. They're injured, that's Just the so act sad. of picking them up and throwing them injures them, I guess. Well, yeah. They're sensitive creatures. If I picked you up and threw you, you would get hurt, too. <laughs> well, it's what you have to do. Oh, the doctor. The good doctor's in. Tongue. Look at his glasses. <laughs> well, it's quite a pair. Ooh, we get to drink something. But we are, <laughs> we're not sick. Yeah, it doesn't do much good right now. Oh, well. But, I mean, it could work if you didn't have the fact that you could just sleep next door as well. But he cured our ailments. Does sleeping cure ailments, too? I'm pretty sure it does. No. Oh. But I'm not sure. We haven't really been poisoned or anything, so... I can't recall for sure. Take care on your anyway, journey. that's all we need to do here for now. What we could do is head back into the village, because there's something else that I wanted to do while we were here. Actually, let's go to the library. Okay. I don't know if you recall the librarian. He's weird. I don't like him. Oh, Sir Musashi. Been yeah, I'm pretty sure the librarian you. has a bit of a crush on us. He's a pedo. Yeah. Well, to be fair, I guess the legend of Musashi's about an older Musashi, so... I don't know, it's kind of weird. It's like they try to bring Musashi from the past, but they accidentally got the kid version when they wanted the adult. Uh, but still, the way he acts towards us. You know, I'm not sure if we got those books before. The one with the legendary armor. So I just decided to check it out anyway. I know we read pretty much everything else. And a lot of those books you can't read until Ooh, later. I must tell you that the princess is in fact very delicate, <laughs> like me. Ew! <laughs> well, that was a little too much, actually. So, thank you, Goodbye. but no thanks. Come back soon. Why did he just give us that information? <laughs> you know when you're asking for rumors in Skyrim, 
Mm -hmm. Well, that's not what you expect to hear, is it? No, definitely not. Anyway, there is something we want to do in town, and it's this shop over here which we haven't been to yet. It's actually Hello. a toy shop. Yeah, you have to open the box, but he's kind of a action figure nerd, so he just collects them. He has a lot of them here. Yeah, he does. So you can actually buy action figures in this game. And uh, there's not really much of a point to it, but it's just, I guess, for collecting things, so might as well, especially since we have the money. Yeah, we have a lot of money. And I'm not sure, but I think there might be some things that if you don't buy at a certain point, you can't get them later. I'm not fully aware. I think there's certain actions you have to do to unlock them. Oh, I mean, most I see. of these are enemies we fought already, and some of them are bosses, like uh, the Steam Knight was the thing we fought in the beginning of the game. Mm -hmm. Series 2 is for Chapter 1, and we haven't fought the boss yet, so it's still unknown. Oh no. A man eater. Do they go on display in our bedroom? Um, I don't know if they're on display, but there is a option you have to look at your action figures. Oh, I see. And you can take them out of the box if you want to. <gasps> Who would do such a thing? And they do a couple of actions, like they'll have cheesy lines they say, or they'll like have a shooting motion, or oh my God. a swinging sword option. But in the next episode, we'll go get that item appraised, and that's pretty much it. For now, there's not much else we can do. And once we well, get that item appraised, it kicks off a whole set of events, which... <laughs> oh, God. It's actually going to be quite a mess. Well, we'll see soon enough. Yeah, it's one of my least favorite parts of the game, and you have to do it twice. Oh, no. But uh, we'll see that in the next episode. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye.